Are you sick of losing on your NBA props in the fourth quarter? Well, picture the scene. It's the third quarter. You got Giannis's PRA over 49 and a half. The Bucks are blowing out the other team that they're playing, and he's at right about 45-ish in the third quarter. Looks like if he plays the fourth quarter, you're going to soar over that. But guess what? Bucks are up 30. We go to the fourth quarter. He sits the whole fourth quarter, and just like that, your over has busted. Well, that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can combat a star player when you have his PRA over and he ends up sitting the fourth quarter to be able to hedge it, to possibly win double, or be able just to break even. Now, this happens every day in the NBA. We get to the fourth quarter and sometimes there is a blowout on hand where the star players, they end up sitting down. They don't play the whole entire fourth quarter. So, for example, like I said, if you had Giannis's PRA over 49 and a half and the Bucks are playing, let's say the Hawks, and they're up by 30 in the the third quarter he's right on that line that if he plays the fourth quarter most likely he's going to end up cashing that bet but if they're up by 30 he's not going to play that fourth quarter then you end up losing that bet so you have to be able to take this into account and there is a way that you can combat basically hedging your player prop when it comes down to it so let's say for example beginning of the game the bucks were playing the hawks the spread was minus 10 and a half so we're on that brink right there of possibly a blowout where the spread is because if they're up by 16, 17, 18, anything above that range going into the fourth quarter, most likely the starters are probably going to sit. So what we can do is if you have a thought process of thinking, you know, maybe this game is potentially going to be a blowout, but Giannis has a fantastic matchup against this team. So he should reach his PRA if he was to play four quarters. What you can do is you can take the spread for that team. For example, the Bucks, they're minus 10 and a half. You could even expand that spread up to an alternate spread of like minus 14 and a half and get it at plus money. You could even expand it a little bit higher on that end and kind of match the same exact unit size that you put on your player prop on the alternate spread at plus money. So the reasoning behind that is if the Bucks, let's say they're up 15, 16, 17, 18 points, then most likely you will end up winning that spread bet. And if Giannis ends up sitting on that fourth quarter and doesn't reach that PRA mark that you have him at, well, now you've actually profit a little bit because now if you get the spread at plus money and they end up covering that alternate higher spread because it's a blowout, as in another thing that can happen as well is, for example, we go into the fourth quarter, it's a 17, 18 point lead that gets trimmed down a little bit to like 13 ish, 14 ish. They put the starter back in, then the starter ends up hitting his PRA and they end up surpassing that spread. Then you win both. The only way this doesn't work to where you lose both is the game is close throughout the whole entire game and the player prop basically doesn't come close to what his PRA is of what you bet for that over, which is rare because if you have that player prop going against favorable matchup, he should hit his number if he plays all four quarters. And if he doesn't because of a blowout factor, then you should win the spread bet. So it's kind of what you're doing here is you're hedging the player prop because you think there is possibly going to be a blowout with the spread, alternate the spread to make it plus money. Because now once you made it plus money, if you lose your player prop, but you win the spread bet, you're going to get your money back for the player prop plus a little bit extra because it's plus money and then you have the possibility of it staying somewhat decently close in that 12 13 point range they put the starter back in there he hits his pra and they cover that higher spread then you're really rolling right there you have a chance to win both when that happens so once again let's go over exactly what you would do in this situation you would look at the game for example bucks hawks minus 10 and a half right now you like Giannis's matchup you think he's going to surpass his pra let's say for example it's 49 and a half you're going to go and you're going to hit the PRA, obviously, over what you want for the PRA. And then you're going to take that exact same unit size and you're going to bet an alternate spread for that team minus 13 and a half, 14 and a half, because around 15, 16, 17, that's that range of where in the fourth quarter they'll pull the starters, which will give you plus money. Now you will have a spread bet plus money. And now you have hedged with a possibility to win both or to profit a little bit by the team covering that alternate spread as well. Now that is how you can avoid the fourth fourth quarter pitfall of a player prop sitting and destroying what looked like a great bet. Now, if you guys want me to get in more detail of exactly how you need to look at these player props, make sure you guys go down below and click the link in the description. As always, guys, I'm Frank with Linemaker Sports. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, I'm out.